I'm going to show you a couple of ways of how to transfer data from an SPSS output document into a Microsoft Word document. So let's say I want to copy this table over to a Microsoft Word document. You simply click on it. You see how the border changes colors? And it changes colors over here. So you right-click, copy, bounce over to your Microsoft Word document, click, right-click, paste. There it is. A lot of times if these things go off the side here, I'm going to show you a little trick on how to make it fit into a Microsoft document. Hold on. I just ran a fake test to get a long box here, but I'm going to, I'm going to cut and paste this into this document. And you see how it goes off the side here? It's way too big. How to fix that is you find a little cross, right click on a little cross. If you guys do an apple, I don't know how you do your right click, but you got to highlight the whole thing. You can go down here to auto fit to window. You see how it squishes everything together. So that's how you get a long table to fit into your Microsoft document. And then for anything else, right, everything is treated as a graphic or a picture. Let's say I wanted to cut and paste this guy. Boom. Again, you see how it changes colors and it lights up over here. Right click, copy, open up your document. Wrong one, right one. Pasty, get in there. Right click, paste. There's your document. And again, it treats it like a just a regular graphic. You could shrink them. All right, so that's one way. The the another faster way is to simply go to your output. You go to File, Export. It takes you to this box. Make sure you're in the right category here. Let me put you into this one. And then we're just going to name it um, Test SPSS Transfer. And then click Save over here. And then down on the bottom, whoop, there's an OK button. Sorry about that. Hold on, you guys. Oh, come on, you. All right, that's as small as it's going to get. But there's a, trust me, there's an OK button right here. Boom. So you get this little progress report. That means it's working. So what it did was make a new file that we just named. Let's just go find it. Hold on. There it is right on top. You'll notice it says DOC instead of DOCX. That's how old this program is, but it gets worse. So when we open it up, there it is. That's everything. The problem when you do it this way is you get all these, these boxes here that are SPSS code that you really don't need to turn in, right? So what I do is every time you run a test, you're going to get a, a this little box that don't need the information. So you highlight it, right click, and just cut it out. And there should be a bunch of them. And it gives you a lot of tables. Like you don't really need this table either. Delete them all, I say. Anything that you're not going to use, delete. So like here's another one. Right click, just cut rid of it. Okay, so... The problem when you export the, the output file, you get everything. So, and usually there's a ton of stuff in there that you're not going to need. So, okay. But besides that, so this is the exported file. It's still a doc. Watch this. If you go to save as, it's still listed as an RTF, a rich text format. That's how old this file is. SPSS, I mean. So all you do is you save as, turn it back into a DOX. DOCX. That's that's my humble advice to you. That way you will not have any problems opening it anywhere. All right, so that's all you do. MGZ out. Oh.